You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. man. But she she was a lady. She played in a few movies. The, one of the biggest movies she was in was in the Aquaman. She was in Justice League, all the other stuff, man. She played, you know, I'm a DC fan. So, you know, I, I know all these characters. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So she 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 played she played as Aquaman. Well, she's supposed to be Aquaman's wife and stuff like that, man. But no, nah, bro, they, they didn't cancel her. They didn't take her off for any movie. She's still casting, doing this, that, and the third. It's crazy, but man. Now about where the hearing is, because like, like I said, I don't know too much knowledge in the whole situation with them, but I know that she's looking like the bad guy now. Are they still doing that with her, or is she getting more like a little bit more cut off now? Or what? Nah, nah. It's it's she she's not she's not winning this case, man. I, she she's not winning this case, man. I, I I've been trying to. I wanted to do a live session because people kept asking me to do it. I want to do a live session about it, man. But she she's looking crazy, man. Like she um what was was hitting the man, punching the man. Um, and he got pictures and videos and everything, audio records, all that stuff, man. She took like a champagne bottle, hit him in the head with it. Yeah. She cut. Yeah, she cut a piece of his finger off, all that Damn. stuff, bro. Like she, bro, yes, bro. It was she was going in. She was going in. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. When it comes to men, majority of the time, you're gonna be guilty until proven innocent. You yeah. look at Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp was removed from Fantastical Beast. He was removed from Pirates of the Caribbean. All his videos got got took down from um, I think it was a Disney or Hulu or whatever it was. Um, that that all uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, they completely removed all his movies, man. So it's just looking at these people like, come on, man. What's this lawsuit um like? What's the worth? Like, what's the amount? She suing him for um, I think like a hundred million, some crap like that. She's suing she, him. She's suing him, yes, for for a hundred million, yes, what? yes. I thought yes. he was suing her. No, he well, he's counter suing her, but it started oh, with her. It. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 well, man. So, yeah, that, that's that's how that's how it goes, man. I was looking at her like, bro, and, and when you sit there and listen to these to some of these tapes and you watch some of these tapes, man, you see like. She was doing some crazy stuff, bro, like defecating this man bed. You know what I'm saying? Just, again, like I said, wow. hit, hitting him. Bro, crazy, bro. Crazy. crazy I, heard, well, I heard Johnny Depp does a good number of drugs, though, too. And I feel oh, like yeah. that probably playing it. Like, she probably does drugs as well because you're not going to be with somebody that does drugs and not do drugs. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So she probably did some drugs, too. That You think that probably pushed her to the edge to get to that point where she's doodling on a man's bed? You think I had a play in it? Bro, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you. When I, when I um, because... It got so bad to the point where this man was constantly making like daily vlogs about how abusive she was, and it was playing it all in court. You know what I'm saying? I, I think she just had some type of um, you know, a personality disorder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like me listening to um, you know, their depositions and stuff like that. It reminded me so much of my ex because my I believe my ex has um borderline personality disorder. You know what I'm saying? And so they were saying yeah. the same thing. You know what I'm saying with 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 Amber Heard. But a lot of the things that she was doing yeah. kind of resembled the stuff that my ex was doing. Like she was just going crazy. Like one day she'll be happy. You know what I'm saying? Everything go good. Then the next minute she's just snapping. The last, I'm like, bro, what the hell happened? Like you snapping because a, a pen fell on the floor? Like what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like the slightest, the smallest thing will set them off, and then it's just a whole, a whole nother train reaction. But also, I believe that's just like a big thing in toxicity as well. Because like I was in a relationship where I was like, you know, I had some toxic things going on too, and then it'll really cause you to act kind of character. Like you start doing things that you really like. How am I screaming at the top of my lungs right now? And I'm not a screamer. I talk about everything. You know what I'm saying? Nice. So like, you know, you really like, yeah. Sometimes it gets to the point where a relationship is no longer love and you're there just because you're used to it and you get comfortable like i said and then next thing you know you're doing some toxic stuff like doodling on somebody's bed <laughs> it's like, crazy right I, I can tell you man I, I i don't think i could ever get to that point where i'm doing something like that, <laughs> <laughs> that too. like imagine that you actually gotta like take your time holding your bowels go over somebody's bed hold there and then do like you got to really think this through to do that bro it's not like a quick action it's not like i'm throwing doodoo at somebody you yeah. sit in doing it like that's terrible that's nasty bro and and again bro it, it goes back to what i was saying earlier but about the about the, like the disorders man because um also also on top of that i believe she's a narcissist man because just listening to yeah. how she talked because the man was like he, he and, and they played the video it was like a damn 30 40 minute damn long video where the man was sitting here talking to this lady like yo listen like i'm trying to leave you're forcing you're, you're forcing me to, to stay here and talk to you after you just punched me in the face three five three times and she's like oh oh well oh I didn't I didn't punch you because I wanted to I punch I punch you because you made me punch you I'm like bro what now wow. you trying to yeah like you get what I'm saying trying, trying, trying to, to justify blame. your wrong actions yeah yeah trying to victim blame and gas like this yeah. man trying to make it seem like someone oh well if you wouldn't do this then I wouldn't have to hit you if you, this is your fault this is you, you you're the reason why this is happening you know what I'm saying yeah. and, and these are the time and I'm happy not really happy but um. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't really say happy, but whatever. I'm happy that grateful. this type of stuff. I'm grateful. Okay, there we go. I'll take that. Uh, I'm grateful that that these types of things are coming out, man, because 
if the roles were reversed, it would have been viral. It would have been pub publicized, man. And yeah. the thing that kills me is like, yo, a lot of guys go through BS in relationships too. Majority of it gets swept under the rug for whatever reason. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But a lot of guys go through the, to these types of BS in relationships too. So I am grateful that this is being aired out and showing that, hey, yo, listen, it's not just about toxic, uh, you know, toxic masculinity. It's about toxic femininity yeah. also too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I don't know what to say much about that one, though, because I, I, I've only heard so far about, like, the doodling on the bed and then, like, you know, the defamation and all that stuff. Defamation. De I don't know how to say it. Word, defamation. Defamation, yeah. Defamation, yeah, def yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that, that's, how, that's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. Typically, when, whenever you get with, um, with, with whatever person that you're with, instead of them just accepting the fact that a relationship does, doesn't work out, and just move on, just be a grown ass adult and move on. A lot of the times they have to prove a point. They have to tarnish your name. They got to bring you down. You know what I'm saying? And and, yeah. and keep moving. In my honest opinion, um, well, actually, no, I shouldn't even say that. I, I've had something like that happen to me where yeah. I was dating some chick my freshman year at, in, in college, right? Some some chick that I that I was sleeping with for like like four or five months. I ended up catching feelings for her. So I'm telling her, like, hey, yo, listen, like, you know, I, I would rather for us to be in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? We've been sleeping together for like three, four months now. You know what I'm saying? We might make this official. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So she's like, oh, no, no, I'm not trying to do all that right now. I'm trying to focus on me, ABC, one, two, three. All right, cool, say less. I'm like, yo, listen, well, this is what I want. You don't want that, so I'm just going to keep it moving. Yeah. Cool. She got upset because I didn't want to sleep with her anymore. So instead of her just like, hey, yo, cool, it is what it is. Bro, no, th th this, is, this is what happens, bro. This is what happens. Instead of her just saying, all right, cool, I'm, we, we not going to do this, we not going to do that. Uh, we yeah. just want to separate and go and go our separate ways. She went back on campus and was spreading rumors talking about, oh, well, he's a womanizer. Oh, well, he made me fall in love with him. He did this. He did that. Da, da, da. I'm sitting there confused as hell. Like, damn, bro, what happened? Like, I was trying to lock you in, and now you trying to make me feel like yeah, a bad guy, bro. Yes, bro, and and that's and again, that's why I said I'm so grateful when stuff like this happened because this is the crap that 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 a lot of guys go through, and this is one of the main reasons why I started my channel, man, because um I wanted to show. The stuff that men go through, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the only guy that went through BS in a relationship. I'm not the only guy that got cheated on by whatever damn female. I want to show um, the male side of it too, because when it comes to the woman's side, you hear this stuff all the time. Oh, men ain't yeah. this, men ain't that. Men are hoes, men are cheated, men are da, da, da. All right, cool. So now we have this side of the manosphere where you can sit there and talk about the problems that men go through in relationships also. You know what I'm saying? When I did my first, my first relationship video, yeah. Average. I'm mad sick when I spit that shit. When I spit that flow, she gon' want to catch my drift. Soon as a nigga get some money, they try to spit on it. They ain't put it on this bottle, so they can't sip on this. Don't you try to boost me up, don't try to get on, bitch. Cause I'ma act like I don't know you, nigga, that's real shit. I'm from a place where you get chased with full clips, AKs, and that type of shit. By the police, bitch. They quit the throw them seeds on you, so we're away from.